roast potatoes, the Bombay potatoes, the potatoes are found everywhere in the world. I mean, it's uh, people, you love your hate here, there's nothing soothing as comforting as potatoes. So the potatoes have their own taste, it's called the flavor, it's called astrogen. The similar thing is the lentils, the potatoes has it. So what it does is, it comforts. Yeah, I agree with you as well, yeah. That the potatoes soothe us. So when you have like a mashed potato, it kind of stick to your tongue and it clears the palate, it makes everything smoother. So today we're gonna do the most soothing dish potato to side dish called the Bombay potatoes and uh, I'm really proud of this recipe because uh, I've looked on a lot of things and I created this I said this is how I want to do the Bombay potatoes in our restaurant it was a massive massive hit I taught this to a lot of my friends who did the cooking lesson the customers they everyone loved it so I'm gonna share the secret of this recipe with you with the relish spice Bombay mix so welcome to curry king Vinny. Relish Bombay Spice Mix has a lot of elements. So it's got uh, chili powder, cumin powder, the coriander, and uh, we got, uh, you know, dry mango powder in it. It's got peppercorns, and it's got, uh, uh, you know, mint powder, and it's got fresh coriander leaf powder, and the curry leaf powder, all that, which is not easily available. So even with the minimal ingredients, like just with onion, tomato, garlic, few cumin seed you will be with the potatoes you can you'll be able to get a fantastic side dish it doesn't have to be only the potatoes you can use the mushrooms you can use the cauliflower you can use broccoli you can use okra you name it you can do all these different vegetables with just one dish trust me it will taste absolutely delicious you you can prepare this dish less than 10 minutes less than 10 minutes how quick is that you know it's as simple as that so let's get cooking Bombay potatoes today so I'm using a one and a half portion for the Bombay potato so it's like if you're two of you you want to have a curry and you have one side dish between two that's enough so to do that the first thing first is uh, it's really important to soak the spices in the water as uh, I mentioned before you know traditionally the spice were always ground with water so I'm just using a uh, just over a teaspoon just gonna put that into the and add uh, just about 100 ml water so soaking the spice as the drill said it doesn't let the spices burn and also it makes the spices cook quicker so as soon as you add the water it will become like a nice thick paste just a second. start with I'm just gonna add uh, about uh, two tablespoons of uh, vegetable oil into the pan always keep the pan on medium heat I'm gonna add a teaspoon of mustard so just gonna add some oil so what he does is when you add the mustard the mustard should pop. When the mustard starts popping, that's when you want to add the next ingredient. When the first mustard pops, we're going to add the cumin seed. So you can see the mustards are popping, the cumin will discolor into brown. And the best thing to tell when the cumin is done, it can start smelling. So we want to add the red chili and few fresh curry leaves. If you can't get fresh curry leaves it's fine because we have added the curry leaf powder in our Bombay mix so you will still get the flavor of the curry leaves so oh that's got to be the most amazing aroma of adding the curry leaves I know there is all the other spices and flavors I think the curry leaves wins yeah the curry leaf has to be the best of the lot we can add any spices but adding curry leaves the brings up the aroma it's incredible so there you go the chili is nicely smoked, the mustards are popping, the cumin's done. Next thing goes is the onions. So there is a phenomena here. So when I add the onions, what it does is it stops all the other previous ingredients from burning because the moisture in the onion, which brings the temperature down, 
So that's why it's really important what goes in, what goes in first, what goes in second. So if I add the onions first and then the spices, the spices will not cook, they will stay raw. So we want to make sure the spices release the essential oil and the flavor into the, the food. So the onions, I'm not going to uh, cook it for too long. I just want them to be succulent. Yeah, yeah it's been about uh, 45 seconds. Onions are succulent. Add the garlic. I've used uh, five cloves of garlic. The reason we use a lot of garlic in India, the Indian garlic is they're nice to eat, not as sharp as the European garlic. So when you guys cooking at home, please go easy with the garlic, unless if you're afraid of vampire, use loads of garlic. So, you know, they won't come near you. And uh, next thing, I've got uh, one tomato medium size. I'm just gonna add that. Again, you can always add the tin tomatoes or chopped tomatoes as well. As you can see, I'm really not cooking it completely. The reason we do that, the Bombay potato is like a vegetable side dish. So you don't want everything mushed up. We want to make sure, you know, the bite into the vegetable. You got the seeds, you got the onions, you got the tomatoes, garlic. We bite into all the flavors, the explosion of flavors in your mouth. And you will be going, wow, you know. So I've not cooked the onion and tomato completely, as you can see. They're just uh, succulent and at this point in time I'm gonna add the spices the relish Bombay spice mix add that again because since it's soaked in the water it's not gonna burn but we don't need to cook this for too long just about uh, 20 seconds to 30 seconds depending on the heat yeah there you go now I'm gonna add uh, about 150 ml of water so what I've done here is I've boiled uh, three medium sized potatoes with the skin on completely boiled it's not power boil it's fully cooked and uh, I peel the skin off cut them into pieces so what it does is imagine you know we added all this uh, you know herbs and spices and onions and tomatoes we didn't overcook it we left it if we add the raw potatoes, by the time the potatoes cook, everything's going to get mushy. You will not get the individual flavors of all the ingredients we use. So what's the point, you know? So this what it does is you get all the different flavors explode in your mouth with the potato, which soothes and comforts. So I recommend you can use the roast potatoes or any of the potatoes which can hold the, the texture after boiling. You can use them peeled and boiled. If not, just boil the whole potato with the skin on which holds the texture and the starch so when you peel it cut them into pieces simmer in the curry you'll be able to create a nice delicious potato side dish yeah the reason i added the water as well you know we have all these ingredients and spices we want it to be cooked but the potatoes already pre-cooked as well so adding the potatoes two things so the potatoes are cold but you simmer it, you'll make the potatoes hot and uh, also it will release a starch to create really nice thick sauce. To this, we're gonna add the seasoning, which is just a pinch of salt, about half a teaspoon. And uh, generally, you would wait to add the coriander for about this particular dish. I wanna add a nice handful of coriander. So, and I would like you to do a small drill is just mix it and taste it now before you adding the butter. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a spoon just to check the seasoning again, the chili and uh, the salt. Mm. You know what the best thing is? I got to bite into the cumin seed and the mustard and the coriander all three with the rest of the flavor absolutely amazing and uh, so I at the moment I can feel all the sharpness in the sauce whenever you're cooking the Bombay potatoes relish spice mix way do try this when the water is there and uh, the spices try it adding all the herbs and flavors and salt and add butter I know I'm gonna go 
at least two teaspoon of butter because butter makes everything better just mix it one it makes the sauce smooth it brings a really nice consistency to the sauce and the second thing it absolutely just tastes amazing Bombay potatoes look at that absolutely stunning so we want to make sure the potato starts releasing the starch to thicken the sauce so we get beautiful nice side dish look at that the texture of the potato is still intact and uh, the sauce is getting thicker always cooking on high heat the aroma is absolutely stunning here I have a friend who is a vegetarian and uh, he doesn't get to taste a lot of my dishes so I'm just gonna have him a taste of my Bombay potato recipe now you have to make sure you don't let the, the burning on the side but you want to make sure it's nicely caramelized but keep mixing that look at that so it's the sauce is thickened the potatoes have released a starch so every piece of potato is intact and uh, it smells absolutely amazing turn the heat off and it's ready to go look at that you've got all the onions and the tomatoes you can see all the seeds the coriander and the potatoes this is absolutely stunning stunning vegetable side dish so please do try it